and we go down seven, and then I make a brilliant move to give. We're not planning to go on the man to man, so I'm sure we get his own look and then got some stuff up and made a jumper right away, so that obviously didn't work. But <coughs> thought after that, I thought our defense really tightened up. We made some great stops, made some big shots. It's a terrific win for us, no question about it, uh, given the, where we were at that late stretch of the game. Coach, with a 27 point loss early in the year, even enter into your thinking? Revenge factor, or was there much more on the line? No, it just this is we're coming down to the last two weeks of the season, and this is a really good basketball team. They they took it to us when we were at home, and I said it to Calvin before the game. He said, "Listen, we've all been in those games. We've all been on. And it seems like we've all been on the short end, of it, not on the long end. But uh, it was a, what didn't enter what into what we were doing. But I thought we, we got out of out of the gate pretty good. We, Shot well early. Uh, Obi made some great, great shots to include a late three that really helped us as well. So, now it's just you're just playing basketball at this point. Every possession is great. What about Josh coming back from, so to speak, that suspension to be the guy who seals the deal for you? Yeah, well, I was glad to see him at the foul line. We felt pretty good about that because he's a terrific uh, end of game foul shooter. For him to knock those two down was great. And uh, we just got fortunate that they don't make the three at the end, at the end to tie the score. Coach, what class did he miss? Uh, nuclear physics, I think. Surely you're kidding. Yeah, 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 just one of those things. Kids do some foolish things sometimes. He uh, paid a tough price, but I think he gets it. Coach, Devin comes out of there and he got gets you five quick points. Then he's the guy who nails the three when you to break the tie. So it's certainly, uh, you got to be pretty pleased with that. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was a big, big shot at the end. And I thought he made he stepped up and knew what he was doing. He felt confident to take it. I'm very happy for him. That's a big shot. Talk about the uh, your 10 points down in the second half, and then you, you call a timeout midway, kind of correct some things, and the guys make their run back. Just what went on in doing that little short mini timeout? Yeah, again, the first suggestion we made was to go to zone, and that, that didn't work. So we went back man to man and really just overplayed uh, their guards even more than we had. We tried to get uh, Pollard as tough guard for us, there's no question, but we, we can't allow him to catch the ball as close to the basket as we did a couple of times. And, uh, so I think we changed some things there. We switched Dan Dang along for a couple of possessions, and I think Dan made him catch the ball a little further away from the basket. So I'll have to check the film to see how good we were on defense down the stretch, but I think we were pretty good. Coach, when they're shooting the three as well as they were shooting the three by the midway of the second half, is there anything you can really do, anything to try? No, it's hard. It's, it's very hard. And they really rush the ball down the floor. And that's why you have to take really good shots because typically if you don't, uh, then our floor balance is not nearly where it needs to be. And they run it down and they make threes. They finish at the rim. Uh, it's a really good offensive basketball team. They're a really good defensive team too. But uh, on offense, they scare you. What about the Kobe game overall? Yeah, he was terrific. Oh, was terrific. I mean, he made so many big, big shots for us. Got us off to a good start. He, he, I think he tied the game late in our stadium with a huge three. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's so important to what he does with that. He, he's really he's changed in his, uh, his mindset. I think he's really been very focused over the last three weeks. The coach on the Devin's three-pointer to win it, what was your first option on that play? Oh, yeah. You know, we're trying to get the ball to Obi. Uh, we had a little uh, top of the key screen, but uh, but at that point, you know that they're probably thinking that's the first option as well. They took that away, and it just came back to Devin. And we we like to think that we give our guys a lot of freedom. If they give us everything they have at the defensive end, we're going to give them a lot of freedom on the offensive end. And he had the freedom to step up and and shoot the ball. And very happy for all of us that the ball went in the basket, especially Devin. How important is this win? Yeah, very very important. It's, uh, Gets us another league win, a road league win. And it's uh, it's critical. Every one of these games now down the stretch is, is crucial for a lot of different reasons. But uh, you know, just and the mindset for us. You know, we, we have a good lead in the first half. We don't keep it. Uh, we had a crazy play at the end of the first half that gives them a few points. Uh, and then in the second half we go down ten points, but we don't quit. We don't stop playing, and uh, we find ourselves with a terrific win. Any questions? Yeah, thanks very much. Mr. Kurt Hopper, Toby, Ness, Yellow.